Hi friends, I recently reviewed this Botanium Hydroponics Pot and I mentioned that I started experimenting with it. The results are ready from my first experiment. Let's go through the entire grow cycle and review the performance. It's been three days and I see the seeds sprouted well. I see three seedlings showing up now. Anyway, I'm going to keep only one seedling here, but I will give them some time. Once at least one of these seedlings established well, I will take out the remaining. It's day five. The seedlings are coming excellent. Now I can confidently remove the seedlings. All right, I thin out the seedlings. Now I have only one plant. It's day 13. This garden has been going fine, very nice so far, but I just wanted to move the garden a little bit. I was trying to move it and I slipped it. This bowl fell down and the plant fell down and created all the mess today. This is a huge disturbance to this garden. I wish they made it a little bit better, some kind of locking mechanism. It just came up so easy. In normal condition we don't move but we cannot guarantee as gardeners with so many gardens we have to move here and there so next time I will be very careful but since I never expected that it will come up so easily it just fell off very badly this is a huge mess and the lack of fell all over my gardens Look at all this mess. It's very disappointing. I have to set it again. Luckily, the plant did not break. It is looking fine. So, I'm going to refill with fresh leka and put the plant back. Hopefully, it will continue its growth. It's day 25. The torso is coming excellent. If it is directly growing in Aero Garden or any other hydroponic system, this plant would have been much bigger and I would have started harvesting already but it is not bad for this hydroponic pot. It is not getting any direct light. It is just leveraging the light from Aero Garden. With that, it is definitely growing better. It is leveraging the lights enough and growing nice. It's day 30. The torso is coming nice. Lots of leaves. They are looking so fresh. So it is going slow, but it is going very well. Maybe if I have dedicated lights, this would have been grown very well, but it is still fine. I don't want to dedicate a light for this garden. I just want to take advantage of spillover light and that is working out very well. It's been 40 days. The torsi finally shaped up very well, looking so beautiful, lots of greens and it is looking very healthy. This torsi is ready to harvest. I can start harvesting the outer leaves and the plant continue to produce lots of new greens from the center. Compared to the torsi I have grown in Aero Garden or any other hydroponic system, this is probably nothing, but that's not the point. This plant is growing in its own pot and just leveraging the spillover light from Aero Garden. With that, this is really a nice growth. Something just sitting aside and producing nice greens. That's really nice. So if somebody is looking for a hydroponic pot like this, but don't want a full built-in system like Aero Garden, this is definitely a good option. I don't think I will pay the full price for this hydroponic pot, but if it comes on a deal like $25 or $30, probably a nice toy to have along with all the other hydroponic systems. It's day 45. Look at this. Wow. It is looking so beautiful. Now this garden and tortsoy on top of it looking so beautiful. It's a perfect match. And these greens are looking so fresh and so healthy. Normally I start harvesting any leafy green vegetable since they are young. But tortsoy is always different. It shapes up very well and I don't want to harvest until it gets into a nice shape. Now that it got into a nice shape, I will start harvesting this tortsoy and enjoying it. 
and coming back to this garden now i found a better use case for this looks like it is going to work out for many things especially if we can have a dedicated light it's going to work much better but my goal is to just to leverage any spillover light from any aero garden and uh, keep it right next to any of the aero garden or other hydroponic system with that i found a better use case that is going to be mint i recently got some store bought mint and i rooted them those cuttings i just placed them in water and they got nice roots i have a uh, two cuttings and both of them rooted so i'm going to place these cuttings into this botanium as soon as i harvest this tot soy normally tot soy goes for a long time but since i want to grow mint in this i'm going to take out the entire plant and see how mint is going to turn out in this botanium so it worked out very well and this is a successful experiment i was a little skeptical that since i am not giving a full light full dedicated light for this plant it's not going to very well but totsai is a low light plant so it can just leverage the light from aero garden and that is well enough for this totsai so definitely this botanium has its own use cases it is definitely expensive the 40 or 50 dollars is definitely too expensive for this uh, small hydroponic pot but if it comes at a uh, less price i'm going to get one more it's day 50 the plant is still doing excellent i started harvesting the leaves for a long time look at all these as i started harvesting the leaves as i pull the leaf the threads are staying back to the plant so this plant ended up with so much hair here that's really interesting look at this fresh growth that is coming from the center so this is not stopping anywhere i actually wanted to pull this plant out to try something else but i don't want to lose this healthy growth so i'm going to keep it for few more days but there is nothing much to show from this point it is going to be routine i will continue to harvest from the bottom and the new growth will continue to come from the center and this tot soy usually have a long life it can go easily for a couple of months let's see how long i can keep it but so far so good i'm going to keep it for a few more days and uh, then pull out to try something else otherwise i could have continued for a couple of months here it's day 75 the tot soy is still doing excellent look at all this fresh and young growth with dark green leaves this is so fresh this is the reason i didn't want to pull out this plant i wanted to pull out this plant and start mint garden in this botanium hydroponic pot for a long time but i don't want to lose this healthy growth so i am holding my temptation to pull out this plant i have been harvesting totsai for a long time look at this stem i harvested a lot of greens and it is still coming back with lots of fresh growth look at all this fresh growth coming from the center i have my mint cuttings ready since i am not ready to transplant yet i just put them in a bottle of water with a little bit of nutrition these cuttings established a huge root system and they are managing very well in this bottle i'm going to hold my plan to pull out this plant as long as i can and once i am fully satisfied with this totsai plant or in case the plant give up i'm going to transplant the mint cuttings into this botanium hydroponic pot and let it grow but until then i'm going to hold my temptation and continue harvesting the totsai from this pot and let it grow but there is nothing much to show from this point so i'm going to stop it here so this hydroponic pot worked out very well It's not worth spending a lot of money but if you can get it for a decent price it is definitely worth having one and keep it right next to aero garden or any other hydroponic system let it leverage the spillover light from the existing garden and grow the plants low light plants like tot soy bok choy lettuce etc All right that is all for now thanks for watching and happy gardening